Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Overwatch Open. We are getting into day two here, which means we're closing out Group A and Group B. Those are full of our North American teams. We have knocked out two already, but I'll get into that later. Let me first introduce my lovely desk hosts. Here we have Huck, who is representing Team Canada. Uh, as an Overwatch player at BlizzCon, you are an analyst and a coach for several of these teams. You've helped out a lot in the Overwatch scene as it grows. Uh, Chris, anything I missed? No, that's about it. Once again, Ooh, was very that, was that a whole? That's everything he made me say, I promise. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, a huge asset to the Overwatch community as well is ZP. ZP, you've been in Overwatch since the beginning, in the beta, running tournaments, talking to these teams, and casting so much. What's it like to be here at E-League? Again, it's been amazing. We've seen some great games, and I'm looking forward to the great games coming in here today. We're going to see teams go home. Every match today in North America is going to be an elimination match, so the stakes could not be higher for these teams. Absolutely. We're going to put some more uh, ripperonis on the pizza of loss. But before we do that, we have uh, a little bit of a, a thing that's been going on yesterday. You guys caught this. We have a, a <laughs> montage of handshakes. Malik here is our interviewer, and... Uh, He's been putting our players through the ringer. <laughs> I love that seagull. You know, you could let it slide. He actually goes through and calls him out with it. And Birdman. Si yeah. Since then, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a lot of great handshakes here. I gotta say, from our standpoint, we did a lot of. Watch this one. Work watch here. this one. Look it's at. Oh my God! <laughs> it's unbelievable. It just shows how unexpected esports can get. Where it's, players came in, they thought they were just preparing for the game, but little did they know that their handshake game needed to be on point. All right, well, we're going to have another dexterity test coming up soon. But first, let's introduce you to Malik up in the coop. Hey there. Thank you very much, Rachel. You know what? Uh, I have to say, I've been that guy that's been left hanging <laughs> quite a bit, so I didn't want to be that guy to leave him hanging. You what know? a good guy. I mean, you really, you, you made sure the handshake, the deal closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect and, that. And, and there's been a lot of handshake breakdowns on Reddit, so I'm glad we could inspire that, you know? So I'm, I'm really happy about that. But anyways, uh, guys, like they said, there's a lot of fierce competition going on today. There's going to be a lot of people going home. So if you want to chime in with who you think is going home or who you think is staying, please hit us up on the E-League Twitter with the hashtag OWOpen. Now, the Immortals, they may be out of the tournament, but they are full of young talent. And one rising star that I find to be quite intriguing in particular is Grim Reality. So we're going to take a closer look at this budding rising star right now. Christopher Schaefer. My alias is Grim Reality, and the team I'm playing for is Immortals. The thing that made me want to play Overwatch so much is the future of the game. From a face value, I knew the game was going to be super fun. It's MOBA-y, it's first-person shooter, there's an objective, and it's a very vibrant, colorful game. It, it's just destined to be a great eSport. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Overwatch Open. I did kind of want to go competitive in it, but I didn't expect to dive into it as fast as I did. Grim reality, though, is there, and not today, he says. And I didn't expect to be as good as I am right now in the time that I played. Grim reality, man. This dude has been going absolutely in. My parents are, are very supportive of all of this. I think they just want whatever makes me happy, and this definitely makes me happy. When I told them that this is gonna be a televised thing and the amount of teams that got into this tournament, they were just so ecstatic for me. At first, I didn't think I could make it as far as I am right now, but now that it's kind of actually happening, I'm really starting to be confident in myself. I think the future looks pretty bright. As long as I stay persistent and keep on playing, I definitely think I can make a, a pretty good career out of Overwatch. You know, you know what? Grim told me yesterday that he was going to make me some grilled cheese, and uh, I need to get that right now. So, uh, Rachel, desk, please take it away. Save me some. Malik, bring some back to the desk. All right, guys. Aside from the grilled cheese, we have a lot to get into this week, so let's take a quick look at the schedule to see what is coming up in the Overwatch action for the Overwatch Open. We're going to kick off today. We have our playoffs for North America. Tomorrow we're taking a little break. We're going to kick back, relax, but we're coming back Wednesday and Thursday with the EU group play and playoffs. And then Friday, we are on TBS, on television, ladies and gentlemen, at 10 p.m. EST. So please tune in, watch, support your favorite teams. We will see who ends up there in the finals, going for a piece of that $300,000 prize pool. Here are the matchups for today. We're going to start off with Energy and Liquid. But, uh, Huck, what are you looking at here most? Both matches, honestly, are great. <laughs> both are rematches. Both are, you know, 
teams that we thought would win actually lost. There's a lot of redemption here for both these guys. It's just, I think both matches are going to be very close. What do you think, ZP? I think they're going to be close as well, and I really have a big interest in NRG Liquid because that was a matchup where NRG very easily points could have taken it the other way, and the problems that NRG had yesterday were fixable. They were more in their tanks, they are more in their initiations. I'm sure they watch the VODs, and they're going to be looking at it and go, here's what we want to come in here today, we're going to change things up, and Team Liquid has to be prepared for that. All right. Well, do you have any more of that uh, liquid insight, Huck? I, I have nothing. Um, it's 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 just going to be very very close. I'm looking forward to these matches, guys. I hope you are too. We're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 